Hey guys, it's Brian the Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is Launcher Wars Part 1. In Launcher Wars, we're going to help you determine the best launchers possible for Android so you can figure out which ones work the best for you. Let's get to it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Launcher Pro, which is my personal favorite launcher for Android. Joe's going to come on soon in another video, and it's going to talk about ADW Launcher. Now the purpose of this series again is to help you discover the best launchers out there. One of the best parts by far of Android is its ability to change the launcher, which is of course the home screen interfaces, all the widgets, and the application tray. Now this is the Google Nexus S, which comes with a very vanilla installation of Android 2.3. So you get the little dock on the bottom, and there's seven home screens. It's very simple. It's not, you know, very visually uh intense like HTC senses, which I think is a good thing. I like things light and clean, but I want it to go even lighter and cleaner and faster with Launcher Pro. And I'm going to show you how I have my home screen set up. Then I'm going to talk about the different settings that you can choose in Launcher Pro because I think it's the best launcher out there. So let's start. You're going to see a crazy live wallpaper here. I'll tell you what it's called in a second in case you want it. A little bit distracting, I know, but it's pretty cool and it doesn't really kill battery life too bad. So it's called Solar Winds Live Wallpaper and it is free. Let's go back to the home screen and I'm going to zoom in here. So let me tell you about what I've done here to my home screens. I like a home screen configuration that is very simple, that gives me quick access to anything that I want. So I've got a quick Google search up here and as you can see it's skinnier than what you get when you make it. And I'll show you why. I've actually got the Launcher Pro upgrade for three bucks that allows you to resize widgets. I've also got, um, I believe this is called Quick Battery here, which shows me the percentage battery life I have. Got a variety of shortcuts. I've got my Google Voice widget also expanded beyond the stock size with the Launcher Pro feature. I've got some icons here, and here is my dock on the bottom with the Froyo style background, and so when I swipe to different screens, it stays put so that I always have those icons down here. Now Launcher Pro will allow you to make multiple docks that you can swipe to the right and to the left, but I think that kind of defeats the purpose of having a dock. A dock should be the same no matter what home screen you're on. Now I've got ho three home screens set up here, not seven like you get in stock Android or more, um, because I like to just be able to go to the left, go to the right, and call it a day. I don't want to be swiping millions of times to get to my other home screens. Now Launcher Pro has the ability to zoom out to the home screen view. You can pinch or you can press the home button and you can quickly dial to the home screen that you want. I never ever use this feature because I'm only using three home screens anyway. So I'm going to go to the left and show you the other things I've got going on here. I've got this cool bookmark widget which gives me a little preview of all the websites that I have. So Engadget, Gizmodo, Google Docs, PocketNow, XDA. Down here on the bottom there is a Google Voice widget will allow me to make a message, do other things. Going over to the right, I've just got this favorite people thing. It's kind of HTC styled, which allows me to have six people. Now, one of the coolest parts about Launcher Pro, if you pay the upgrade fee, is if I tap and hold on any widget, I can actually resize it, which is really cool. And I'll show you a little preview of what, what it's going to look like. So if I let go, the widget will be extended. It's a lot cooler when you're using a widget like, I'm going to put this on the other screen, something that's stuck, like the Google uh, widget that you get out of the box. So Right now, it's three items wide. If I tap and hold on it and let go, I can make it, you know, the normal size. Or if I want to keep it really small, I can make it two columns wide. So really cool ability to be able to resize the widgets there. So I'm going to bring that back over there and slide my battery back to where it was. And again, you can resize these other widgets, like the Google Voice widget. I can make that smaller. Really, any widget that you can get uh, you can resize if you pay that extra fee to upgrade Launcher Pro. Now something else that I really, really, really wanted to change was the application tray. In standard Android, you get this fancy animated thing that takes forever. I wanted the application tray to open up in a snap. And watch what I got here. Boom. There we go. And I've also increased the number of icons on the screen at one time, because when I'm digging through the application tray, I don't want to be going through the alphabet, digging through a long, long list. I want to get right to the application I'm looking for. So Launcher Pro lets me sort this by a row of five, by I think we've got five here. So lots of icons on the screen at one time. And again, look how fast that opens. It's absolutely instant compared to the Android that you get. Um, stock Android or even HTC Sense or Moto Blur, it takes a second to open up. So let's talk about some of the settings I've got here. So I'm going to go into the menu and preferences. 
So a lot of things you can change about this particular launcher. So if we go into general settings, this stuff I don't really mess around with that much, but home screen settings, you can specify the number of home screens you want. You can go up to seven, but I go with three here. You can choose the default home screen, so when you press the home button, it knows which to go back to. We've got virtual looping, which is just a little cool feature so that when I get to the end, and if I swipe to the right, it bounces me all the way back to the one on the left. Just a cool little feature to use there. We've got enable trackball scrolling. A lot of this stuff I don't use. Transition effect. I turn off all animations, all transition effects. I want everything to be instantaneous here. Um, home screen grid, number of rows and columns. So in case you wanted to kind of scrunch up the icons a little bit and fit more on the screen at one time, you can do that with Launcher Pro. Auto fit items, so it will resize widgets. I have that turned off. Here's the dock settings, which is cool. So we can change the number of docks you have. Like I mentioned, you can swipe to the right, swipe to the left, and see up to three docks. Again, I think that defeats the purpose of having a dock. You can enable loop scrolling. Um, this is cool, unread SMS count. So you can have a little counter that shows you exactly how many missed SMS you have, kind of like in iOS. You can also do the same for Gmail and missed call. I'm actually going to turn that on. forgot to do that. Behavior settings. Auto rotation, so you get the sort of rotation on the home screen. I like everything in portrait. I don't want to have to wait for things to go into landscape. Okay, going down, appearance settings where some cool stuff comes in. Dock background, so we can change this to glass. Let's go back and see what that looks like. So we've got a kind of a new little dock background. It kind of sits on a piece of glass, which is nice. Let's go back into appearance settings here. Home button on app drawer, so you can determine the behavior of the home button while you're on the home screen. You can hide the notification bar if you want to get the maximum amount of screen space possible when you're on the home screen. Disable, disable wallpaper scrolling so the wallpaper stays put. I mean, it goes on and on and on. There's just so much you can do. And then if we go into um, advanced settings here, we have a few other things. We can turn on five row and home screen. Highly recommend that so you can see more on the screen at one time. Um, you can turn on high quality scrolling, but again, that will slow down your device. We're going for sort of uh, the, the ability to get really fast operation here. Here's something that I really like, opening speed of the app drawer. I have it set to 10. 10 is instant. Zero, if you went to that, you get, well, let's see. Blah. Who wants that? I, I can't imagine who would want to wait that long for the application tray to open. So I'm going to go back into advanced settings and go to opening speed and jack this up to 10 so I never have to wait again. And then a lot of other things like screen previews, you can change how fast that happens. So a lot of settings, a lot of things you can do here uh, to customize what you've got going on. And let me just show you some of these widgets. I'm going to delete the people widget real quick. I'm going to tap and hold and go to Launcher Pro Widgets. So these are the premium widgets that you have to pay $3 for. And they're inspired by HTC's Sense widgets. But I think they're better because they're resizable. So we can go into messaging. And we got a variety of choices here. So we've got the kind of vertical list. We've got the simple um, one item at a time. Let's go back and see the other ones real quick. We've got Twitter, Facebook, friends, people. And so let's go to, say, friends. And you've only got one style here. And of course, whoop, not that one. Let's go back. Of course, the one we were on was people. And there's a lot of choices for that. So you get this grid, you get this. Well, actually, only two choices. So this is the one that I was using here. And I've got uh, just starred items so that basically it's pulling from uh, the people that I starred in the Android dialer. And right now it's loading. And it should come up on the screen. Perhaps I don't have that set exactly right. I'll have to look into that. So this is Launcher Pro. This is my favorite launcher for Android because it's fast. It does what I want. It has resizable widgets, beautiful widgets, and it just it works. And there's a lot of options that you can use to tweak. We're curious to hear about your favorite launcher for Android. We're going to continue the series of Launcher Wars to help you find the best launcher possible for your Android phone. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.